You're going down. Unlike previous videos where we talked about how a boomerang bro and one straight jacket were bosses and I didn't want to make the videos that boring, when Curtis Ackers came up I didn't want to make the video because I was pretty sure he wasn't a boss, but everyone else was saying like, oh he totally is, and I said, really? But after looking at the footage again I conceded that yes, he was a boss. Honestly, I should have seen it coming since he was the person who bought Alex's shit out about the other hill monsters on the spot, and considering his penchant for firearms and operating in the middle of a buggered shepherd's glen, should have been huge red flags that I completely glossed over because I'm a believable idiot. Yet, here we are, fighting a hillbilly wielding the most illogically built circular saw I've ever seen. See, the reason I didn't think he was a boss first go was because his fight plays out exactly like every other Silent Hill soldier I've fought in the game, just a bit wilier, because unlike the Silent Hill soldiers that you can just endlessly combo because their AI wears diapers, Curtis actually dodges when you go for multiple combos and you end up taking massive damage with an unblockable move. The boss fight is a bit tough to wrap your head around since failures do end up costing Alex a ton of health, and like all other bad examples, Curtis comes bundled with a poorly telegraphed insta-death move straight out of Resident Evil 4. Killing Curtis also isn't that satisfying since the player isn't invested in his character and he basically comes across as a rabid dog that needs to be put down, rather than a villain who actually deserves it. Hell, he might not have even been evil in the first place, he may have just been corrupted by Silent Hill Puppet Master style, but then again, who gives a shit if he was? 